Chapter on to dismount between Arafat and Jamar, that is, Al Muzdalifa, because of a necessity. Narrated Usama bin Zaid, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, after departing from Arafat, he went towards the mountain path, and there he answered the call of nature, and then performed ablution. I asked, O Allah's Messenger, will you offer the salah, prayer, here? He replied, the place of a salah, prayer is ahead of you. That is, at al muzdalifah Narrated Nafir, Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, used to offer the Maghrib and Isha prayer together at Jamr, al muzdalifah But he used to pass by that mountain path where Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, went. And he would enter it and answer the call of nature and perform ablution. And would not offer any salah, prayer till he had offered salah, prayer at Jamr, that is, Muzdalifa. Narrated Usama bin Zaid, may Allah be pleased with them, I rode behind Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, from Arafat, and when Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, reached the mountain path on the left side, which is before al Muzdalifa, he made his camel kneel, and then urinated, and then I poured water for his ablution. He performed light ablution, and then I said to him, is it the time for salah, prayer, O Allah's Messenger? He replied, The place of salah, prayer is ahead of you, that is, at al muzdalifah So Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, rode till he reached al muzdalifah and then he offered the salah, prayer, there. Then in the morning, 10th Dhil Hijjah, Al-Fadl bin Abbas rode behind Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, Quraib, a sub-narrator said that Abdullah bin Abbas narrated from Al-Fadl. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, kept on reciting Talbiyah during the journey till he reached the Jamrah, Jamratul Aqaba, 